Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my lure fishing only account. The goal of this account is to reach 100% in the lure fishing skill and get some trophies in the way. In the last episode we managed to get to 15% lure fishing and also made nearly 200 silver. This episode's goal is to unlock the fishing tool and get to level 12, so let's get going. This is for all my YouTube members. Make sure to join. First things first, the spot I'm fishing at right now is at 72.85, I will use retrieval speed 16 and for the lure dragonfly long 1003. So you might be thinking again on the same spot just like in the first episode, yes I will be here until I hit level 10, then we will use our skill points, sell our fish and go explore at winding river a little bit. I have a few spots in my mind that I want to go and check out for different species like pike and chub. Over here as you know we caught a lot of nice perks and chop but i think we can do even better somewhere else nighttime lure fishing is just awful on winding at least with my lures but the mornings they are totally different we have a very nice fish on right now it's the first fish of the episode please make it a special one or maybe it's just a nice perch who knows okay it is a nice perch and everybody likes a good perch especially in real life they're so much fun to fight 879 grams 33 centimeters so i mean 33 centimeter perch is not that bad if you get a 40 centimeter Meter perch that's considered huge another nice job we did get some spin fishing percentage which is awesome sadly this job is only 171 exp with the bonus exp so what we're trying to hit over here are the chop over one kilo because those give pretty much double exp and we need exp let's fish duke my lure on the fall literally on the fall so this is another perch awesome maybe there's a cafe order we can sell these small perch to this spot is on fire i don't know why but right now this spot is just great so if you saw the first episode and you're already watching the second one if you have a new account or you don't have a perch trophy make sure to come over here and try it out over here you can also fish from the bottom with the night crawlers and you should also get the perch trophy pretty easily next up we want to unlock jigging because with jigging we can jig on the bottom with some different lures and we can get sander and volga sander a lot easier that way so this is the goal as you can see another very nice job 785 grams and we got 400 exp for this fish the previous one that we had before was i think less than 100 grams smaller and it was like 170 exp so the exp cap is huge over here with chub and we have a fish on again on the drop i didn't have to do anything and we already have a fish on 306 gram perch 58 exp damn that's gonna take a lot of perch to reach level 10 hopefully we get some nice job or maybe not all right we have something very very nice on right now this has to be above one kilo of chop definitely and by the looks of it it is this means we just got so much exp which we desperately need and also maybe some spin fishing percentage we will see in a second okay fish get in the net we have this small net right now and this one is like super short so it's very very hard to get fishing in the net we want to upgrade to a bigger one later on okay 841 exp as you can see a lot of exp and we did get some spin fishing percentage which is absolutely amazing so i think if i want to get my level up as soon as possible i I should most likely aim towards south over here or actually southeast and try to get a chop from here because you get way more chop from this spot than actually when you aim at the perch tree another 800 gram chop and nearly 500 exp plus some spin fishing percentage we are flying to these percentages right now but i mean if we get to like 50 or 60 percent that's when it gets hard and yeah over here i'm fishing with the stop and go method just like i did in the last episode i will reel like one spool full then wait a second reel one spool full then wait a second and usually this triggers something in the fish and they really want to go for the lure even though i'm using a spinner i'm not even using a cheek or anything but it seems to work so hey yeah as you can see we have a fish on i'm not gonna say no to that if it works it works don't try to change it and that is a volga sander that's awesome 409 grams this is not the new personal best but still very good almost a thousand dxp and this fish should give us the level as you can see we're missing so little exp and this seems to be a pretty nice job so i'm 100 confident that we will get the level here and if we don't i don't know i'm gonna jump out of the window head first or something this is how confident i am in this right now yeah that's a nice chubby guy we like chubby chubs okay lad get in the net we need that exp yes level 10 1.5 kilo chub we did get some spin fishing percentage and we have another gift 
shift through level 10, we get this Vaco 8 gram 003. This looks pretty cool, I think. We could use this to catch some pike or perch. I don't know, because this spoon seems to be quite tiny, only five centimeters. So this could be good for perch and pike. And yeah, as you can see, the keep net is looking pretty juicy. And we have a very, very good fish on. I know I said I will leave this spot when I hit level 10, but since it is already 7 p.m., there is really no point for me to go and relocate for a few hours in game time and then just AFK on the spot. I'd rather fish over here for as long as possible and then we go to a new spot when it is the morning time again. But this fish is huge. I don't know what it is even. It should be another job and if it is, there is a slight chance this could be our new personal best. Let's drink some tea just to keep the energy up and this will help us not lose the fish as often. Because as you know, in the last episode we had a pretty bad track record of losing the bigger fish. Hopefully this will not happen in this episode. And we should see the fish in a second. It's so close to the surface and yeah, it's a job just like I said before. And this seems like a big one. I don't know if it's a new BB, but it could be very close. Okay, 1.9 kilos. Our personal best is 2.02 if I'm not making a mistake. Very nice fish, a lot of EXP and again, spin fishing percentage. We have two extra skill points that we can use for fishing with a spinning rod skill. I'm really tempted to put one skill point into this skill and one into using the spinner baits, but I do think that we should max out the spinning rod skill and then put our points into the spinner baits and some other skills. So right now I'm going to keep it this way. Let's put the last point into the fishing with the spinning rod, get some more accuracy and fish control. Well, would you look at that? It's money time once again. We managed to fill in the perch cafe order for 10 silver and the rest of the keep net was worth 54 silver. So in total, we made 64 silver, which is not bad at all. There was a very good pie cafe order. So I'm thinking let's get the 3.2 kg fluorocarbon leader and try to find pike on Windhoek River. This would skyrocket our bank. So for pike fishing, there are three good areas, at least in my experience. One of them is the G6 square and then nearby the camp up on the top and then the small pond on Windhoek River. So I think first of all, we'll go to G6 and see what can we catch because there's a lot of snags, a lot of trees in the water and pike and perch both absolutely love them. What a nice walk in the park. This actually reminds me of the Slenderman game when I used to play it when I was younger and that game absolutely scared me. Like it scared me to the bone. It was a horrifying game. Hopefully I'll never ever play that game again. I actually recently did watch the horror movie about the Slenderman and yeah, it brought back some bad memories. I decided to make a test cast over here at 107-100 and on the first cast we actually hooked into something pretty nice. I'm really hoping that this is a pike but by the looks of it, it is a chub. That is unfortunate. I actually thought we did escape all the chub over here but I guess no. I mean, it's still a very nice fish so we definitely take it. 1.2 kilo chub. We got loads of EXP and some spin fishing percentage. We want to get to level 12 which means we still have to get loads and loads of EXP. This might take us a few days in game so every big job that we actually get on the hook is very very welcome. Well I guess we can't use any of these lures except the first one maybe but we have to buy it so I'm not really sure I want to buy that lure for pike fishing. I really want to save as much money as possible. We have the spin shot but in a different color. Maybe it will work. Guess we'll see. I'm still using my dragonfly lure because this lure works so well. I made another cast over here. I did AFK for like two hours in game time just to pass the night because there was pretty much no bites. And we have another nice job one. If it is a job, I do believe it's a job because for a perch, it's fighting too hard. And to be a pike, it's a bit too slow. I would say pike, they really, really go rapidly in the water. And this thing is not going super rapidly. It's just strong. It kind of gave up for a second, but then started fighting against us again. But I think it should be over soon. The fight should be over and we should be victorious. This could be our new PB uh, job, by the way. Wait. I just lost the fish. Just like that. There was nothing happening. No chat box message or anything. Okay, that is weird. I think this spot is big fish spot. I just keep catching big fish and no tiny fish almost at all. And this thing is spoiling me rapidly. This actually could be a pike. I'm fairly positive it's either a chub or a pike, but definitely nothing else. I don't think you can get asp from this spot, but if you can, I mean, could be an asp. This fish is extremely strong. And if it's a chub, it has to be a new BB. No other chub has fought me this hard yet. 
yet. I mean, except the two fish that we lost. So hopefully we will not lose this one because that would be a shame. What a nice job. This is maybe our new personal best. I'm not really sure, but it could be. Okay, so 40 grams under our personal best, but this is still a special one because this was our riskiest catch. This was the strongest fish we have actually caught so far, which is pretty cool. It's a cool achievement. Oh, and also the new casting record. We're nearly halfway to level 11, which is very awesome. By the way, why I say level 11 slowly is because I've tried to give a commentary over this spot like 10 times and messed it up. It's like some sort of a tongue twister. So when I'm fishing over here, I am always casting towards south over these logs. Oh, new longest cast and a steam achievement. That is very cool. But yeah, I'm casting over these logs or twigs, however you want to call them. And then I'm actually doing straight retrieval. I'm not doing any stop and go right now because uh, it works just to straight retrieve. And this is a smaller fish, maybe a perch. I did switch my lure to the spoon that we did get for level 10. So trying to get some pike over here. So far, no luck. But this though seems to be working very, very good for perch somehow. But this is actually a job. It's so tiny, but still gave us spin fishing percentage and 0.2% instead of 0.1%. That is amazing. This seems like another very nice job, probably around a kilo. So actually way bigger than I expected. And it gave us percentage plus EXP, which is very welcome. Almost halfway to the next level. Well, I decided to give it a try to cast over here just to see if there's any pike, but I did get snagged instantly. And this is awful because in this game, usually when you get snagged there is no way of getting out of snag but please do not cut your lines just log off the game you'll spawn again at the spawn point and you will have your rod your lure everything unsnagged in your inventory and you'll be golden well this was an odd fight the fish was fighting me like crazy and then just suddenly stopped and i really didn't like dead weight but i mean another 750 exp halfway to another level well that is a lot of exp and a new personal best walker sander for sure 1100 exp for for a 500 gram Volga Sander. That is amazing. And we did also finish off 19% spin fishing. So next up, 20%. This is our first eye from Winding Rivulet. We did get one eye from Mosquito Lake in the first episode, but nothing from Winding Rivulet. So it's almost a kilo eye, which is pretty good. We did get 843 EXP. As you can see, I did do give a lot more EXP than Chubb. And these fish are very, very welcome in my inventory because we need to get to level 12 ASAP. This is mostly likely the last fish of the day so after this fish we will go to the fish market and to the cafe sell all our fish and see how much money do we have i think we are right now above the halfway mark to get the fishing tool so this will bring us even closer possibly like two or three more days of fishing and we should have the fishing tool it really depends on the luck that we will have and if there are any cafe orders that we can fill up the fish finally got tired i mean the fight wasn't super crazy long but still on this slice up this fish fight like hell another 1.5 kilo job we take that let's make some money so there was no cafe orders we had to sell all our fish to the fish market but still we made 57 silver which is not bad at all this will bring us to above 250 silver in total which means i think we can get the fishing tool in the next two or three hours as i said before so we are at a new spot i wanted to test out another spot that i showed at the beginning of this episode the spot i'm testing right now is at 160 622 i use everything the same as we did before the same retrieval speed 16 the same low dragonfly long 1003 i might move a bit on this area like back and forth between the three that was to my right that you saw before but overall i'll probably stand on the same spot over here and just try to cast over the river reel in the low i'm gonna try to stop and go and just straight retrieval and let's see which will work okay this is something that i really really wanted to get on this account and we did snag a a rebel muscle on a low. I'm very, very happy about this. I really want to get a zebra muscle as well, but so far I'm already happy with the rebel muscle. This is an unusual species to get on a low, and I want to unlock all the unusual species that you can actually get on the low. Like the days, you can even get a common roach on the low sometimes. So these are the fish species that I want to unlock as well. Looks like we have another chub on. This dragonfly low is an absolute chub magnet. And look at that chump. That was so adorable. 
adorable. Such a tiny, tiny jump from, I think, around a kilo fish or so. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was very, very close. But I think we should switch off the lure to something else. And let's try this Aikila lure. I think this could get us some pike. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe an eyed over here. We'll have to see. And we have our first fish on the Aikila lure. And it's a perch. And it's a tiny, tiny perch. Well, this is definitely not what I was after. So I think I'll move back over here and make a few casts over here just across the river. Okay, I have absolutely massive fish on right now. I don't think I have been spooled on this account like this before. And we did get it right across the river. I actually did stop the recording for like a second and literally a second later, a fish bit my lure. So I hope it's something nice. It could be actually even a sander from over here because there is the deeper part of the river to my left. This is actually where I did cast my lure. But uh, I was doing a straight retrieval, so it's not going straight to the bottom. Should be something else, maybe another river fish like an eid or an asp. If it's an eid, then I think we should get our level over here because this fish is going nuts. Right now I'm trying to steer the fish so it doesn't go into the small pond because if it swims into the pond, I think there is a pretty pretty good chance that it will actually outspool me since I don't have a lot of line on this rail. And here we go. There is our eid. Definitely a new personal best eid. This has to be, I don't know, like 1.5 kilos or so. It was fighting so, so hard. Actually, I almost nailed it once again. 1.5 kilos. We did get to level 11, which will give us, actually, a gift again. But I did not think it would give us so many gifts. I thought it was going to be another lure. But we actually did get a whole new reel and rod combo. And this one seems to be a bit better than the one that we have right now. So let's go check out the new combo. Another light rod, which is good. More EXP. Oh, and 5 kg test. That is perfect. That is absolutely amazing. Also, the reel that you saw right now, it said that the strength is like 2.7 kilos. Actually, it is not. It's actually 5.4 kilos. I will put a link down in the description where you can find all the real mech strengths so you can actually see how strong your reels are and then balance your setups. Well, I guess friendship over with the Corona rod and the new friendship started with the Arrow rod. This is our new setup for now. This is a light setup that we actually had before as well, but this has a better test. We are pretty much not losing on any experience or anything, but we will have all the fish in a lot easier. Here we go, our first fish. It's really nothing spectacular, so we can't say how good the rod is. But even right now, it was getting the fish in way, way easier than the rod that I had before. Now, this fish is putting our rod to the test. As you can see, I can put my friction break to 29, and my ability bar down below is not going to the max, and my rod setup is not breaking because the setup is well balanced. I can keep it at 29, and my rod should never ever break or my line or my reel so this is a very good setup i'm actually extremely happy about getting this setup this is probably another job it's a very nice one i don't know how big it is because new setup new strength i don't know how good the raw setup is so i guess we will see but it seems like a very decent fish and yeah that is definitely a very very nice job i guess we will see in a second how big it is no way it's actually a new personal best i thought we had a 2.2 kilo chop before but i guess we didn't so a new personal burst that's very cool some nice exp and spin fishing percentage it came in just as easily as the other chop that we had with the other setup when they were at 1 kg again fish gone just off the hook no notification no nothing but we did get another one on the hook almost right away and that is a very very nice perch we definitely take that yeah i mean exp wise 250 exp is not a lot but still a very very nice perch yeah, we've lost four fish in total, and all of those fish were big ones. I came back to the first spot just to test out the new rod combo. I think this is the best spot where I can see the clear difference between these two setups. And right now, while fishing over here and catching this job, it's doing so, so good. I think it's literally twice as easy to get the fish in, which is absolutely amazing, because before we were struggling, and the faster you can get the fish in, the more fish you can catch, and this means the more money you can make. Come on, fishy. Oh, yes just have to call it out and the fish will bite this seems like a pretty decent fish just by the indicator down below as you can see it did not go to the max but with this setup i think if you get a job that's half a kilo or so it won't even go to the max which is very good this means this setup is working flawlessly and this seems maybe even bigger than 500 grams yeah 800 grams that is a huge job i really wonder if you can switch out the hooks on these uh, lures that you get at the beginning because if you put bigger hooks on them you 
should technically get bigger fish. When we get to Belaya, I definitely want to buy one of the spiker lures first and then switch out the treble hooks to something a bit bigger because I think by default they have size 6 or 8 treble hooks. We want to go for like size 2. This means we don't get as many small fish and get more bigger fish. And this is another job once again. We're getting so much job in this episode. But yeah, 1.5 kilos over 700 EXP and we are one fourth of a way to a new level. It is time to make some money once again. We managed to fill in an unexpected River Mosso Cafe order for 4 silver and rest of the keep net was worth 47 silver. So in total we made 51 silver which is not bad at all. All we did was do some spin fishing. So right now I'm doing some testing. I came to the end of the map on the right side as far as possible because back over there you can see the fallen tree. You cannot walk past that. So over here I'm trying to get some pike. Right now I've only had perch which is I mean not bad. A kilo perch is always welcome in my inventory but we definitely want to fill up that cafe order for two two kilo pike because if we can fill up that cafe order we are getting so much money for just two fish but so far i've had no luck i'm using the spoon now i'm doing just straight retrieval speed 16 i don't think we have to go any faster with the retrieval speed or do any stop and go if there is pike over here they will bite but it seems like there is no pike at all looks like this lure is good for perch we're just getting perch and chub i want to get at least one pike in this episode it would be cool to unlock another new species could this be a pike i think it is Oh yeah, we actually have our first pike. I'm telling you, you just have to say it out loud and you shall receive. That's our first pike. It's a very tiny one, under half a kilo, but still a very cool fish to get. Pike in real life and in game, they are vicious. What a nice perch on the hook once again. This is definitely not the new BB and I think even if we get a new BB next time, it will be a trophy because the buffer zone between our current pest and the trophy is so tiny. So there is a higher chance of getting a trophy BB than just a regular BB. But this is a nice one. Definitely not the kilo fish, but maybe close my small net 961 grams not bad and some spin fishing percentage we are flying through the percentage right now i switched my lure to a spinner and i have a chub on right away i think right now if you fish with any spinners you just keep getting chub left and right but this one is 888 grams that's so cool i absolutely love that doesn't look like a chub yeah it's an eyed that's pretty cool we have an eyed from this spot that's pretty unexpected but yeah 706 gram eyed that is not bad at all i wish we could get more eyed because they give so much exp and way more money than chub but unfortunately they're quite rare on my setup that's a chunky fish and 22.5 percent spin fishing let's make some quick money there is no cafe order so we have to sell everything to the fish market for 40 silver which is actually not as bad as it sounds we have over 300 silver we need just a bit more for the end goal of this episode so this is the cafe right now on mosquito there are two orders possibly even three that we could fill up but i'm not really sure if we are going to have any luck catching decent perch on mosquito lake but i'm definitely going to give it a shot because that seems like easy money if we find an active perch spot i came back to the dock where we used to fish before and so far i mean i haven't caught a lot of perch i mean it's only 6 a.m and i mostly did try some fishing during the super early hours in the morning but i guess we will see what will happen during the daytime but this is not a good fish but actually i'm actually going to change my mind it gave us some spin fishing percentage so it, it is a good fish i came to the other side to fish on the opposite bank where i was fishing before and i have something huge on i have absolutely no idea what it is it could be another eyed because last time oh actually it's not it jumped out of the water that's a pike and that is actually a very decent pike because this will be our new personal best it has to be around a kilo or so yeah this fish is great 1.2 kilos such a tiny perch this is not what we are after well it seems like we need a different setup to be successful right now on mosquito lake so as you can see i did get a few fish in but nothing very good and then i did get snagged i put a skill point into fishing with the spinning rod and i left mosquito i'm not returning before i have some sort of a different rig and different lures and then i will try to fish on mosquito lake again whoa exactly one kg that is awesome to see well what the heck is going on right now this fish is going absolutely nuts on this new setup and if that's a job that has to be a new pb that's going absolutely insane right now the fish is just going left and right 
right and spooling me all the time. Let me tell you something, that is not a job. That's the first ASP on the account at 1.1 kilos, 960 EXP. Pretty good. But as I said before, ASP, they are a pain in the bottom if you actually get them on your light setup. And as you saw, it was just spooling me and spooling me and the fish is only 1.2 kilos. We are so close to unlock the chicken skill. But I think unlocking the chicken skill will stay for the next episode because this fish should give us enough EXP for us to reach level 12, which means we have completed one of our goals, which was to reach level 12. After this, we need to go get the fishing tool and then we are off to Belaya River. And here we go, level 12, one of our goals completed. We definitely did not make a lot of money, but 39 silver is better than nothing. As you can see, with that level 12, we did unlock Old Brook Lake and Belaya River, and we are definitely going to Belaya in the next episode. But now, let's head to the hardware store and buy our fishing tool. This item is definitely a game changer, and you will see why in the next episode. Take care, bye bye.